So in this problem, we're looking at a system of equations and we're asked to determine whether certain ordered pairs are a solution to the system of equations. Uh, this process is pretty much the same as when we were just looking at equations. The difference is it has to satisfy both equations now. So we have to check the, the point that we're given in both equations. So we'll start off with one negative three. The first equation in our system is three x plus y equals zero. So three x plus y equals zero. And we want to know does three times one plus negative three, does that equal zero? So that's 3 plus negative 3, which is 0, which does equal 0. So it checks in our first equation. Now, does it work in our second equation? Again, we'll substitute. We're given x plus 2y equals negative 5. So we'll substitute 1 for x. And we'll substitute negative 3 for y. And we want to know, does that equal negative 5? So 1 plus 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. So 1 minus 6, does that equal negative 5? And we do end up with negative 5 equals negative 5. So 1, negative 3 is a solution. It makes both equations in our system true. Now 0, 0, we follow the same process. 3 times, well 3x plus y equals 0. We want to know does 3 times 0 plus 0, does that equal 0? Well 3 times 0 is 0 plus 0. Does that equal 0? Yes, 0 equals 0. So it, it checks with our first equation. Now what about our second equation? x plus 2y equals negative 5. So does 0, substitute 0 for x, plus 2 times 0. Does that equal negative 5? Well, that's just 0 plus 0, which is 0. 0 does not equal negative 5. So 0, 0 is not a solution. It satisfies only one equation in our system of equations. So again, the process is essentially the same as it was when we were checking if ordered pairs were solution to an equation. The difference is we have to check both equations in the system. And if it satisfies both equations, if it makes uh, each equation true, then it is a solution to the system of equations. If it doesn't make one or the other of them true, or if it doesn't make both of them true, uh, or either of them true, then it's not a solution to the system. So in this case, one negative three was a solution to our system of equations, and zero, zero is not a solution to the system of equations.